In an earlier example, you saw how in NX11 realized shape, you were able to split a single subdivision body into multiple subdivision bodies, as we have here. This can give greater flexibility and control when manipulating the shape. Conversely, if you have multiple subdivision bodies and you want to reduce the number of features in the tree, you are able to merge these subdivision bodies back into one single subdivision body. So as you can see here, I select merge subdivision bodies. I select the four individual subdivision bodies, apply the command, and now I'm back to one single subdivision body. Due to the user interaction of freehand pushing and pulling of the control cage of the subdivision body, it has not always been straightforward to match the interface between the subdivision body and an external shape. In NX11, this has been made simple by the introduction of a new command called connect cage. In this example, we want to connect the bottom of the joystick to the tube located directly beneath it. The first thing we need to do is to get some free edges to work with. And we can simply achieve this by deleting one of the cage faces at the bottom. Now we select the connect cage command. The first thing to select is the open edge loop. And then we select the external reference, in this case, the top edge of the tube. We then have two options for the continuity, either sharp or smooth, and we can illustrate these using the preview. You will also notice that some of the vertices turn blue, indicating that these are now locked due to the nature of the continuity between the subdivision body and the external reference. Apart from being able to quickly manage the shape of the interface between the subdivision body and an external reference, one of the key benefits of using this approach is the fact that it's associative. So if the external reference changes, then the subdivision body will reflect this change, as you can see in this instance.